Hello everyone, Tina here for Paper Tray Ink. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm excited to share a project with you using some new arrivals from the Paper Tray Ink shop. This here is the vase collection number 15. This is a simple layering set. When I mean simple, I mean there's just two layers. You have the base layer, which are all the, the solid images, and then you have a detail layer. And I thought this would be perfect for um, heat embossing. That's what we're going to do. Um, I do want to say that this is such a pretty stamp set. Each of the florals are kind of whimsical in the fact that their, their leaves are not completely closed in so what's going to give it a closed in look is the solid image i just love that with stamp sets so i'm excited to try this i have the coordinating die set that we'll be die cutting out the images with i'm also going to be creating a background we're using the psalms reflection for february die set this is a three-piece die set with some beautiful detail on here. There's pierced detail on each one of these, and there's also some die cut detail, which is just stunning. Let's do die cutting first, and then we will go ahead and jump in and do a little bit of stamping. For this project, I'm gonna use the large die here. We're gonna take some white cardstock, and I will die cut this out. And then I'm also going to, I already have it here, all set up. I'm going to die cut out um, all the images we're going to use for our card today. I'm also, there's three flowers I mentioned, and I'm missing a leaf here. There's three flowers, but the smallest one I'm going to die cut out one extra one with white cardstock. This way um, I have four flowers in total. I'm going to run these through my die cut machine, and then we will get to stamping. Everything is die cut. And I'm going to put this in my stamping positioner, but I wanted to show you how pretty this is. This goes perfectly with the Psalm Reflections February stamp set. It fits perfectly in here. I just think that it's just so gorgeous. Okay, I just wanted to share that with you. So we're going to put this off to the side. I'm going to bring in my stamping positioner. And then I'm going to take the negative piece of our die cut. I have a sticky mat inside of my Mini Misty and this is going to help hold this panel down. And then again I did die cut out one extra smaller flower. Before we insert these what I'm going to do is take the stamp set and again you don't have to do this. Um, for me it's just easier. I'm going to go ahead and add all of my images. The most solid so I have my images and then I replaced all of my die cut images back in the negative piece. And now we get to coloring. I'm going to start with our leaves. I'm going to use new leaf for those. And I may have to stamp them a couple times. But let's ink this up here. Wonderful. And I think I'm going to stamp one more of these leaves here. Since we have them in there, I just die cut out one more and we'll ink this up. Okay, so we have our leaves all done. I'm going to go ahead and take these out. I'm going to zoom in a little more. Next, we're going to do our flowers, and we're going to use three different color of inks. Starting with Berry Sorbet, I'm going to ink up our middle flower here. We'll go ahead and stamp this. Our next flower, we are going to stamp the larger one. Let's stamp that with our Harvest Gold ink. Let's go over this. I'm going to stamp this a couple times. For a third flower, we're going to use Hawaiian Shores. We'll just ink that up. Thank you. 
And then I'm going to remove this and we'll insert one more and stamp one more Hawaiian Shore here. Wonderful. Now for our container, we're going to ink this up with limeade ice. I thought a green, a pale green um, container would be beautiful for our florals today. So we'll ink this up and I'll go ahead and press down really good. Wonderful. It does look a little blotchy, but when the ink dries, it dries evenly. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove my base layer for my um, container. And then in the stamp set, there's a detail layer. I'm going to go ahead and line this up. And we'll pick this up with our stamping positioner. And for the detail layer on our container, I'm going to use our New Leaf ink. Before we continue on, I also want to stamp my sentiment. I chose the one that says, you make life so much brighter. Make sure it's centered here. And I'll remove my second layer. We'll just go ahead and put this back. <coughs> and I'll pick this up here. I'm going to stamp my sentiment with the same new leaf ink here. I'm going to stamp it a couple times. Wonderful. So our stamping is all done. And I'm going to go ahead and take our florals out. <clears throat> now I mentioned there's a detail layer to these. In our stamp set, I, for the detail layer, I'm going to use an acrylic block. We'll start with our flowers. And for the detail layer, I'm going to use a sticky ink. Since we're going to be doing some heat embossing, I'm bringing in my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. It is great for embossing, and I want to gold emboss over our elements. What this is going to do is take these bright colors, it's going to tone them down just a little bit. And it's also going to let me see where the ink is going to go. So I'll ink this up. And then we'll just stamp this on our image. Wonderful. And then while it's sticky, I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm going to dip this and some gold embossing powder, like so. And I'll use my heat gun and we'll melt this. And you can see it does soften up our image and that gold goes right over the black. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the leaves and the rest of the flowers. I'll just line them up here. All of our florals are done. They're all pretty and you can see how soft that they look. I'm going to put these off to the side. On the die cut detail area, we're going to flip this around and I'm going to bring in some hibiscus burst cardstock. I think this is really pretty and to make it stand out on my card, we're going to use pattern paper in our background. So I want to make this a solid area. So using my tape runner, I'm going to go over the die cut detail area and I'm going to use my hibiscus burst and just go over it.
I'm tearing it like it's tape, but you can you can cut this, but you're not going to be able to see this anyway. And we'll add our last two pieces. And you see how that just stands out beautifully. Now we're going to take our container that's going to hold our flowers and I'm going to flip it around. We're going to put some foam circles behind here. I'm going to remove the release paper. I'm going to add this to the center of our panel here. We have this adhered. We can go ahead and take some smaller foam circles and we can add our flowers. I'm going to pop up our flowers, but not our green foliage. And I love that you can actually overhang these here. And we will add one more. And you know what I forgot to do? In our stamp set, there is a detail layer for these flowers. Let me show you. This one right here. I'm going to take this and using my true black ink, I'm going to add some dotted detail to the center of these flowers. Wonderful. I think that just makes them stand out even more. For our leaves, we're going to do a little tucking with them. Okay. I think that is just the perfect amount. I think that looks really pretty. I'm going to bring in my card base. For my background, I have some pattern paper. This is a four inch wide by five and a quarter inch tall piece of pattern paper. This is from Paper Tray Inc's Funky Town Paper Pad. I love this plaid. We're gonna go ahead and flip this around and put this on our card base. And then I'm gonna take this panel and we're gonna trim this down into half inch strips and I'm gonna fishtail two banners with that. So I have four fishtail, fishtail strips. Now what I want to do is add a little bit of color behind this panel. So on the left and the right, we're going to take these strips and we're going to have them peeking out kind of a little bit at an angle, like so. Might need to add some more adhesive. And then we'll add another one. And I'll do the same thing to this side. And I'll take this panel and we'll place this in the center of our card base. I always like to add a little bit of texture in my card, so I have some white twine here, and I'm going to bring in, a, I want a pink button here. I think that one's a good color. I went ahead and threaded a button that's the same color as the hibiscus burst with that twine, and then I also created another bow. We're going to put one bow over here to the left using a glue dot. And then I'm going to take another couple of glue dots, put it behind the button, and we'll put the button right over that bow that we created. So we're basically creating a double bow 
but one of the top bows are knotted. I'm going to trim the tails here. And then that will finish off my project today for Paper Tray Ink. I hope you get a chance to check out the brand new February 2023 20, release. I think you're going to be super excited about all these beautiful spring themed items. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day and we will see you soon. Bye bye.